Eight days, four nations and a range of agreements for investment and trade. Premier Li Keqiang held a flurry of meetings in Brazil, Colombia, Peru and Chile with the hope that a new phase of increased trade is ahead. Speaking in Santiago, Premier Li highlighted China's economic vision. To revive the global economy, we need to grow a real economy. Developing countries need to speed up the process of urbanization and industrialization, while developed countries need to re-industrialize. We should focus on infrastructure construction to push forward the equipment manufacturing industry, raw material industry, and also the relevant service industries. This official visit took place in the context of China's pledge to invest $250 billion over the next 10 years in Latin America. A proposed $10 billion, 5,300-kilometer railway project linking the Atlantic with the Pacific Ocean from Brazil to Peru, the most eye-catching announcement. Just as innovative was the creation of the first yuan clearing bank in Chile, allowing the use of the Chinese currency for trade in the region, a new mechanism aimed at boosting commerce. Uh, I think it's China is still need to use dollars because of the reasons that are obvious in terms of the, the whole world investment. But you, I think it's a way China is testing new policies to try to see if it works or not. I think this is the, the, the message on that. The various business agreements were offset by a report by the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America. Trade between the region and China dropped in 2014, having reached a historic high point the year before driven down in part by China's declining demand for Latin America's raw materials. The overall tone of Premier Li's visit to South America has been viewed as positive, as forward-looking and ambitious. But the underlying question does remain whether the agreements and the talks from the past week translate into an increase in trade. Joel Richard, CCTV in Santiago.